from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. As a precaution against the coronavirus, all of Florida's public universities are planning to transition to online classes within the next few days. The Florida Board of Governors telling all state universities to make plans to transition to online courses as soon as possible because of coronavirus concerns. Meanwhile, there are temporary bans for some visiting nursing homes and other assisted living facilities. Governor Ron DeSantis just signed an executive order banning a whole list of people. Officials are doing this because elderly populations are some of the most vulnerable when it comes to the virus. Meanwhile, the NCAA says the men's and women's basketball tournaments will be played without fans in the audience. That includes the first two rounds of the men's tournament scheduled for late next week at Amelie Arena. We're working to find out what that means for any fans who have tickets. In other news, hundreds of jobs will be up for grabs at a job fair in Tampa tomorrow. The event is from 10 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon at George Steinbrenner Field. We have all the information on how to pre-register posted on our website at abcactionnews.com. Now here's Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with your forecast, Dan. Yeah, Wendy, skies are partly cloudy across the area. The temperatures, that's the big weather story, not just for the next couple of days, but at least the next couple of weeks. As high temperatures by this weekend, back in the upper 80s to around 90 degrees. That's about 15 degrees above average. Wow, thanks, Dan. You can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download our free ABC Action News app.